All right, so now for the fun part. We talked about logos. It's time to create the logo. So you're going to go to CCPS Applications. And apparently wait for it to load a really long time. You're going to make sure you're on Arts and Graphics on the left hand side and you're going to look for this MS Paint. This is Microsoft Paint. So we click on this. It's going to open for us. Okay, now I personally cannot stand this blank space. I want my design area to take it all up so you can click on this little plus sign right here to zoom in and now it takes up the whole space. You can do a couple of things. You can add a shape. You can freehand draw with different brushes, pencils, crayons, marker, spray paint. You can decide how big your line is going to be, what color it's going to be, your eraser. To zoom in, we can write text here. You can draw text here with another pencil. You can fill in colors here. Now, I'm not really a fantastic drawer. So, I would probably use shapes. Mm, make them different colors. These are going to be my books, okay? And then maybe inside each one of my books, since we're the Shadowlon Wild readers, I would put like a little animal. And I can fill the solid color. There we go. Sorry. And you can get some eyes. Maybe make my line thicker for the eyes. Oh, that's too thick. that look like a bear? It could be a bear. So this could be my logo. Good morning, you might also want to add some text to your logo and that's cool. It's completely up to you. This is your logo. You can change your font. You can change your font size. You can change your font color. So maybe I do S. Go back to home. W. Go back to home. SWR for Shadow on Wild Readers. It's up to you because, again, it's yours. So, when you're done with this, you want to click on this blue file tab that looks like it has a piece of paper. Save as. And you're going to save this as your logo. Okay? Now, when we're done with these, we will be voting 
on the top in each classroom. You have this week and next week to finish these. And then I'm going to have you vote on which one you like the best in the class. And then we're going to take those and we're going to put a survey monkey up and we're going to let the whole grade vote on which one should be the school logo. And maybe we'll even send it out to teachers and see which ones they like best as well. All right, so get to work, try your best, and have fun.